Hey, hello, it's Holly with Ivy Cool Creations, and today I'm working on a layout that was actually alive for New Year's Eve. So I took a plain piece of cardstock and then I gessoed it, let it dry, and then I decided to do balloons. This is just a picture of my daughter um, at preschool wearing her birthday hat because they celebrated the summer babies before school ended. So, um, yeah, everybody got a picture. Anyway, I decided to do balloons in watercolor and people actually watched me do this. <laughs> so I used post box red by dilutions Inc. I used, um, lemon yellow. I used the mode green or mode no cut grass and I used the London blue and then the I believe it's villainous potion is the purple distress ink spray that I have that I used as my purple so I drew balloon-ish shapes just in pencil and then decided to water everything up and spread my color around. I wasn't thinking properly. It was very late. I did this literally for New Year's Eve live. So it's like 1130 at night. <laughs> and um, so I wasn't paying attention and I wasn't really thinking. But what I should have done was um, a little less water or dab the water out. And then, um, yeah. So I ended up with um, my balloons all in different shapes and different consistencies of ink. And at the end, I just started using my actual spray bottle to spread stuff around because I wanted a more concentrated color. Looking back, I should have done like all my yellow balloons first, then all my green balloons, then all my red, then all my blue kind of thing, uh, just because of the way that, um, I, just because of the way that the balloons were sitting. And then this yellow just started going everywhere. So that balloon got rather large. Um, and then the yellow circle at the bottom, um, I was trying to make orange and that didn't work because obviously you should mix paint before you put it on the paper instead of trying to mix it on the paper. And then I held my heat gun over the little yellow balloon at the top too long and it ended up burning the paper. So yeah, this one was just basically a hot mess of stuff, but I persevered, I pulled through, and I fixed it, mostly. <laughs> so I'm just showing you like what I was doing um, to get the shape of the balloons, and really it's not much. This, this doesn't take any like real talent at all to to keep it <laughs> keep it together now i really wanted to use this vicky button chipboard it says hello it's huge and it's um from the travel the traveling collection that she had just released um or that came out at christmas time and i wanted it to say hello for because that's her birthday um this was her for her fourth birthday. So I ended up um, looking at what I had and then deciding I didn't want any of it and then changing my mind again. And then I decided I wanted little bottom bits on the balloon or on the balloons. And so I had to paint in all of those little bits. Um, and so I'm just dipping my paintbrush straight into the bottles. Uh, because I'm not gonna I already cleaned up <laughs> I did some splattering as well 
just because I wanted color all over the page. It's supposed to be for her birthday, right? I just used the Wild Whisper ledger script to stamp the word four because I didn't find any numbers that I liked. And I just went and found some of my dollar store enamel dots, added those for a punch of color and to like spread the sparkle around. And I'm also using gems. And that's about it. It's super simple once it's done. A little bit time consuming, but still a whole lot of fun in the end. And remember, scrapbook however you want to. If you make a mistake, it's okay. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today.